This is a little day ride me and my wife took on a Friday. It's uh, This place is called The Loop, which stands for Lake Ozark Off-Road Park. Originally, we were planning, or I was planning on going to the Lake of the Ozarks Cycle Park, which is L-O-T-O, -O, but the names are real sim similar. And I told my wife to call to make sure they were going to be open on Friday, and she ended up calling this place. Now, this is the check-in building they have when you go in. Well, we live in Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, we were looking for a place for a day ride. We used to go to Walter's Ranch a lot for a day ride. And this is about the same distance. It's about a two and a half hour drive for us to get to here or the other place. These two places are, I don't know, about 10 miles apart. But this, uh, they got a real nice parking area here. And uh, they were originally doing logging here and now they're done logging. So a lot of the trails are pretty pretty wide, wide wide roads and stuff so this will kind of give you an idea of what this place is like it's 500 acres uh, most of the trails are pretty wide this is a uh, give you a little bit of an idea of what it what it's like yeah originally I was planning on going to the other place but my wife called this place and when we got over there nobody was there we didn't have any cell service. Finally, my wife walked around and got one bar and called, and then this lady told us, oh, you're at the wrong place. This is over here. So we ended up coming over here. The next time we go down, we're going to go to the try the other place out, too. They're both about the same size. But uh, They give you a little paper map, but not real helpful for me. They need to have more places marked on it where when you come to places where you can orientate where you're at on the map. But it didn't really matter. I have the ride command, so we're tracking our ourselves, so we can always find our way back. But if you decide to go to one of these places, you need to make sure uh, you know which one you're going to because the names are real similar. Which way? Well. Now, when we were down there, there really wasn't any water. I mean, this right there was about all the only wet stuff we saw. I don't know if there's any right streams are going normally yeah. or not. It says rock and uh, oh, arrow points here to the right. Oh, up the stream? Uh, and it started to go up there, but the I don't think you can see very good in the video. But it's like a, I don't know, a two foot straight ledge. And we didn't want to want to bang up too bad, so we didn't go over. But there, at least there is some there for people that want a little bit harder stuff. For the most part. We didn't come across anything too too bad. There is a lot of uh, you go down in, in like ravines and you got hills up on both sides. And maybe at the wetter time of the year there'd be water flowing, but there wasn't any water anywhere that, that we came across. Some of them look pretty steep, and some of them are pretty straight. Straight, so I'm going to say that they might run into trouble later on with uh, washing out with the with them being so straight. Times people start rutting them up a little bit. Nothing was rutted hardly at all. I think this is, hasn't been open too terribly long.
back up to where we were parked at. While we were there, uh, I did that big group of people did come in. beside it that looked a little pretty rough. So we didn't, you know, you're out there by yourself, so my wife didn't want to do it. She said she'd get out, but I said, nah, it's all right. So we didn't try it. We went to the other place first before, and then got over here. We got a real late start right. off when uh, it picks up motion or or uh, if it's somebody rings the doorbell well I'm deleting out the, the videos and checking it and then I got a guy walking right in my front yard and we're this this guy right here he does he keeps his head turned away from the camera and where he goes there's nowhere for him to go but into my backyard and 
he never comes back around and the, we sat there and ate lunch and the more I thought about it the more it bothered me so we just call it an early day and headed home because that's all I need have somebody break into my house because somebody could have watched you driving out us out that morning pulling the trailer and knowing we was going to be gone well I let it bug me and, and so we headed back out loaded up and went home everything was fine but our trip was just kind of a screwed up from the beginning and just we'll we'll definitely come back down here again there's that's the building you check in at and, uh, like I said you, you want to pay attention if, if you want to go to one or the other of these two places we're gonna to go to the other one the next time and I'll put a little video up of it but uh, yeah, I let this guy walking in my yard bug me, and we went home early. So we didn't get to, to uh, check out the place as good as we would have liked to. But but uh, this will give you a little idea of what uh, what to expect there.